Right. It's the Lexington Morning News with Jack Patty. 741 in the morning, 19 away from 8. Crews are filling in. And with us is Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, Health Watch USA. Dr. K, how are you this morning? Oh, doing really good, Cruiser. Thank you. The BA4 and BA5, these are the newest variants. I think the BA5 seems to be causing the most immediate concern in this area. These are, I guess, variants of the Omicron variant. How potent yeah. are they? They are spreading, but are they uh, potent in terms of, uh, we're still, it looks like we're still keeping the ICU and death numbers down. ICU and deaths numbers have not risen markedly. ICU maybe a little bit, but hospitalizations are going up along with, of course, risks of long COVID with that. So we still need to be very careful. And yes, they are increasing as far as our case numbers and also we're seeing hospitalizations tick up. We don't want to get into a situation where the hospitals are overrun and patients with other diseases can't get treatment. And as you know, that's what happened to me last year trying to get cancer surgery. It was canceled because the hospitals were filled. So let's take this surge seriously. Uh, the long COVID thing, doctor, there doesn't seem to be an answer for this. Two studies have found viral antigens in COVID patients. What, what does that mean, that they, they found viral antigens in, in someone? Well, this is kind of distressing because the one study, and this was out of Harvard Medical School, found that in over 60% of individuals with long COVID, they detected viral antigens in the serum. Now that should be cleared out quite rapidly. So if you're seeing that months later, that probably means you've got some sort of chronic viral presence. So the main message from that is, is that this long COVID is real. It's not being made up. Now, as far as viruses hanging around in the body for a long period of time, We've seen that before. You know, herpes can do that. Of course, AIDS can do that. You've got chicken pox, which can lead to shingles later on in life. So this is very common with viruses. But if your body's not effectively clearing them, in other words, it can't suppress it, then you can get chronic symptoms. And that's what's happening with the long COVID patients. Unfortunately, with these viruses, people are getting reinfected and there is one study out, and this study shows that the long COVID effects are additive. If you get it again, you can then worsen your symptoms or worsen the burden of society. So it, it is quite serious as far as this is something you want to avoid. So avoid indoor settings at this point with high viral transmission. Mask up with N95 masks. That will help. It will not be 100%. And get vaccinated. Granted, right now this vaccine is old, but it still stimulates your immunity to these viruses. You will get some cross coverage and it will up your resistance and make it less likely that you get severely sick. And that's whether you've been vaccinated before, you absolutely need a booster, or whether you've had a previous infection. You want your immunity to be as high as possible. We seem to every month, doctor, and we're talking with Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, Health Watch USA, it seems like every month there's a new variant that uh, escapes the immune system, or, or at least it, the, vi the, the vaccine doesn't protect against it. Now, of course, the vaccine, as we know, it has protected a lot of people from serious illness. But I guess, I guess my question is, are you optimistic that there's going to be able to be, and I'm sure the drug companies are working on a new vaccine, probably a new COVID vaccine, that would encompass a lot of variants, someone, a vaccine that they hope would protect you against anything that might develop down the road. Are you optimistic that scientists are going to be able to find that vaccine? Because we can't keep altering vaccines to match each variant. They, they come too fast and furiously. Well, that's correct. And that's one of the problems. If you remember for several months now, even years, I've been sounding that alarm that we've got to slow down spread because we can't generate a new vaccine every month. And I'm, I'm telling you, this is a big problem. Now, multivariant vaccines, there is research going on with that. There'll be a bivalent one out pretty soon, and that will give you added coverage. But again, it's going to be a bivalent vaccine or a booster that will be utilizing Omicron. I believe there's another one in the pikes that is going to be utilizing the beta variant. And those are going to be good, but it's not going to be 
incorporating the antigens of the current variant because it's occurring every month. And, and that's why you're not going to obtain herd immunity. This virus is coming at us just too fast. The flu, for example, is a much milder disease, and it comes and, and mutates about once a year. And you can have a vaccine cycle for that. But once a month, not possible. And this variant may not be our last. As you know, there's another variant in India. I believe it's the BA 2.75 which may also be problematic. And, and we just need to see if that will be one that will infect us or not. It could be that the BA4-5 will give us protection from that. We just don't know. It, it gets very difficult comparing countries. For example, look at South Africa. South Africa did not have nearly the hospitalization spikes with the BA4, BA5 variant, but they were infected with the beta variant before that. We didn't have much of a curve from beta. Their major infection was from beta. And beta gives good coverage or better coverage with BA4, BA5. And so they have more of a resistance in their community. We, on the other hand, were hit very hard with Omicron. Omicron, unfortunately, does not give good protection with the BA4, BA5 variant. If you had Delta or previous, you're probably in better shape if your immunity hasn't waned. Problem is waning immunity. Again, going back to the vaccine, get it. It doesn't matter if it's as good as natural infection or not. It doesn't have the downside. You can still get it to boost your immunity. Kevin Cavanaugh, Dr. Kevin Cavanaugh, Health Watch USA. Dr. K, thank you very much for your time today and stay well, sir. All right. Thank you very much, sir.